Hello techies. Welcome to Power Automate Desktop Tutorials. In this tutorial, we will learn how to automate the Outlook by using Outlook Actions. All right. First of all, we will understand the purpose of Outlook. Outlook is an email client used by business on the top of the Microsoft Exchange server. Outlook allows you to send and receive email messages, manage your calendar, store names and numbers of your contacts, and track your tasks. In simple way, Outlook organizes your emails, calendars, contacts, tasks, and to-do lists all at one place. Now, we will learn briefly the Outlook actions which are available in Power Automate Desktop. We are having seven Outlook actions in Power Automate Desktop. They are launch Outlook, retrieve email messages from Outlook, send the email through Outlook, process email messages, save Outlook email messages, respond to Outlook mail messages, and finally we have close Outlook. I will explain you briefly about these Outlook actions. We'll start with launch Outlook. Launch Outlook is used to launch Outlook as well as to create a new Outlook instance to work on different Outlook functionalities. Without the Outlook instance, we can't work with other Outlook actions such as retrieving emails, sending emails, and the remaining all Outlook actions we are unable to work without Outlook instance. Now, close Outlook. Once the Outlook functionality has completed, we need to close the previous launch Outlook instance by using close Outlook action. Because of that, if we want to proceed with further actions in another flow, the instance will be already open. In that case, we can't work it with another flows. That's the reason we need to close it by using close Outlook action. All right. Now, retrieve email messages from Outlook action. Let us assume if we want to retrieve email messages from an Outlook account by using this action that is retrieve email messages from Outlook action, we can retrieve unread emails or read emails or all emails from the particular mail folder and also we can apply filter to retrieve specific emails. Now we'll see send email through Outlook. By using this action, we can create a new mail and then we can send this new mail message through Outlook. All right. In that we are having two CC, BCC, subject, body, attachments also we have in that newly created email message. Now we'll talk about the process email messages in Outlook. By using this action, we can move the emails from one mail folder to another mail folder or if you want to delete the emails, we can delete a single mail or multiple mails which has been retrieved by retrieve emails from the Outlook action. So the purpose of this process email message is mainly to move the emails or to delete the emails. All right. Save Outlook email messages. By using this action, we can save the mails in many formats such as text format or .oft, .msg, and also we can store them in the .mhd format in the particular folder. Finally, we'll talk about the respond to Outlook mail message. If I want to respond any mail which I have been retrieved from by using retrieve emails, in that case, I'm going to use respond to Outlook mail message. By using this action, I will reply or I will reply to all or I can forward the mails which has been received by using retrieve mails action. I hope you understand all the Outlook actions in brief and I hope you were very excited to learn all these actions practically. Keep watching and let's get started.